there, my name is Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and a vetted ClickUp consultant. In today's video, we're going to go over how to set up and utilize ClickUp's goals section, which is basically their version of OKRs. They are really awesome if you ask me because you're able to set up this goal or OKR for your company, set different targets and how you want to measure that target, create owners for the goals and the targets. It's really awesome. I can't wait to dive in. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel because there are so many other amazing ClickUp tutorials when it comes to setting up, managing your account, helping with specific features just like this one. Okay, so let's dive in. ClickUp has done a really phenomenal job of creating OKRs and mimicking them in this ClickUp goals section. So if you go to the left on your navigation bar, you're going to see goals. Well, here you'll see a bunch of different examples I've put here, and I'm going to walk you through just two of them and then how to create one of these OKRs from scratch. But what you can see is basically the main block here is your objective. When you click in, you have the different targets or key results. So you'll see note created key result they're actually using this to function just like okrs so you'll see here i'm 10 percent through my objective of growing my email list in 2022 i've set different targets for the different quarters and you can see that in q1 i wanted to raise it to 150 q2 from 150 to 300 etc etc so when i click into this target i can either increase Increase this to the target 150 or I can increase so this is 120 or I can increase it by 30 subscribers when I click save it's gonna pop confetti because I completed that target which is super fun so then when I click into the next one if I increase this by 10 you'll see that this overall percentage of the objective has increased because now I'm 27 percent through all of my targets combined. Now you don't just need to have numeral targets like this. You can also have targets like an example, launch course. What are all the things I need to do to launch this course? Well, I have to outline it, record the modules, set up the hosting platform, create a marketing plan, etc. And you can see that if I go in here, right, I have zero, I started with zero modules recorded and I had to record five. So then you can increase it little by little, but then there are some as well where you can just, okay, it's not done or it's done. So if I set up my hosting platform, I could save this update that would pop confetti again because I completed that target and the overall goal would go up. So that is just showing you the inside of this. Now let's build one from scratch. So if I create a new goal or objective, let's call this um, create new membership. Then you can choose an owner for the goal. So I'll choose myself. You can select multiple team members. You can have it available to your whole workspace or you can set private OKRs or goals. And then is there a date this goal should be completed by? I'm not sure why this isn't. There we go. Okay, that is glitching out a little bit and put a description. So I'm just gonna press okay. And now you can create targets. So now you're gonna create the target um, outline new membership press ok I'm gonna be the owner and then here where here is where you choose the type of target so it can be a number so you can start anywhere and finish anywhere it could be true false done or not done currency so kind of like numbers except it's money or tasks so this is where you can actually add tasks or lists to your target and then it will track it in here. So if I click add task, if I put something in here, right, then it would, if I like, clicked this and then I put that task in 
I checked it off in ClickUp, sorry, losing my words. If I check this off in ClickUp, then it would actually increase this target. So I will X these out and let's just say this one is a true false. So I'm gonna press okay. Then let's add another one. Let's say um, create three new products. I would press okay. Who's the owner of this goal? The number, so the, I would start with zero products and I would want to create three. So then every time I create a new product, I would go in here and increase it just like this. So I'd say, okay, I created two products. I am now two thirds of the way through this goal and 33% for my new membership. So that is it for showing you the goals section in ClickUp and how they have done a really great job of making these mimic OKRs. So I hope that tutorial was helpful for you in getting started with the ClickUp goal section or gave some clarity on the different features with the goal section. This is how we track our OKRs here at DeSilva Life and it honestly keeps the whole process so streamlined and everyone on the same page. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because there's a lot more where that came from. If you have any other questions about ClickUp and and you want to drop a comment below, we'd love to hear from you guys about the videos that you would love to see on our channel because we are here to serve you. So make sure to drop a comment below if there's another topic that you would love some more explanation or a deeper dive into. And also, if you're wanting more guided and one-on-one -on -one support, we do have an entire course on ClickUp that goes step-by-step -step on how to set up your entire account. We also have a module of all different advanced features and use cases for ClickUp as well. It's not just how to set it up, but really a holistic overview of how to map out your workflows, automate your processes, and we have an entire template vault with 40 plus plug and play templates that we have created specifically for business owners. So with that, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.